Hey everyone and welcome back to Days Gone. On this video we're clearing out the Patchens Lakes infestation. And I'm trying to bring up the map, there it is. That infestation is in this area right here and according to our map it is the final infestation area in Belknap. So we're kicking all these zombies out. No more homes for you. Um, now, one thing to be aware of while you're clearing out this area is there is a horde that likes to roam around roughly in that spot or that area. Um, but normally during the day, they'll go into their cave and hibernate. And that is the Nero research site there. So obviously very dangerous to go get that. Um, if they happen to leave the cave, I'll run in there and snag it. But if not... I'm definitely going nowhere near that cave, because boards are scary. Now, I probably could take a horde at this point in the game, but it would be extremely risky, and I don't want to take that risk. So, um, if you really, really wanted to, and you had enough, like, everything, pipe bombs, and proximity mines, and all sorts of stuff, then you could definitely attempt to take one down, but I would just wait until you're a little bit stronger. And there shouldn't really be anything on the way. Belknap is actually kind of a barren wasteland. There's not a whole lot going on, so... Shouldn't need any detours, and actually I didn't put down a waypoint. We're gonna go to the uh, north nest first. Oh, well, bike damage is kind of good, I guess, because there's a trophy for using 100 scrap to repair your bike, so I guess busting it up is kind of a benefit. Is our nest. Let's go ahead and burn it. Oops, use the pipe bomb. I don't want that. I want a Molotov. <laughs> oh, hi. I did not see you there. Oh, hello. There's two of you. All right. Well, that makes things more interesting. More than I expected. Oh, I thought I got her in the head. Oh, well. oh, oh, got me while I was rolling. That's not fair. Some people have claimed that rolling makes you invulnerable. That is not true. Not true at all. All right, use the bandage. Probably a good thing so I can craft more. Got some nest residues, a lawnmower machete. I don't really want that. Pick up the swarmer ears and I guess I can repair this. Only cost three scrap. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and moving on to the next nest. Once again, not really anything here. I smell it. <sighs> it's got to be getting close. No guards. I'm sure there's plenty sleeping inside. 
Oh, shouldn't have been reloading. Probably not a good idea. Probably a good thing to do before you burn their home down. Just a thought for next time. Crap, crap, bad shooting. There we go, got it. Oh, got it. Nice. Oh, I should probably not be wasting so much of that ammo. Although I wasn't really wasting it. Well, actually, I thought I had more ammo than I did in my pistol. Never mind. I made the right choice. There's a bandage there, but I actually don't want to pick it up. It's craziness. A beer bottle. So they do have them on human corpses. Alright, well, no reason to pick those up anymore. Unless I'm running low. We have a police car. That'll be good for some uh, fuel. Er, never mind. Police car will be good for some ammo, and there's some fuel next to it, which will be good for my bike. Alright, we got pistol ammo and assault rifle ammo. Guess we can use the okay, assault rifle here. here. We go. Let's go ahead and burn this out. Oh, no. Let me uh, let me go ahead and make another one. Yeah. What? Ah, oh, I can't believe that missed. And the Patchen's Lakes infestation is uh, finished, completed, rooted out, whatever. 1,500 experience, and that'll give us a level up. Hot Springs Trust has increased, and infestation exterminator storyline has been updated. So let's go ahead and repair this. That'll be two more scrap. I'm down to four, which I th think will make it safe for me to uh, grab some scrap from one of these hoods. Always need scrap. Oh, it gave me five scrap. Well, more than I wanted, actually, but that's okay. And what's that? Bristly Manzanita. Okay, let's go fuel up the motorcycle. Apparently a zombie nearby. Well, it doesn't look like the horde is gonna come out to play. They'd be in relatively this area if they were. They're probably still in the cave. I'll go take a look really quick. As soon as I hear any freaker sounds whatsoever, though, I'm getting out of there. I'm like 99% sure they're not there. Or they're in there, actually. But I guess it doesn't hurt to check. Or at least, hopefully it won't hurt to check. That dude's looking for me. The question is, does he actually see me? And he does not. He's too dumb. Also, whenever you find these stones stacked up, make sure you kick them over. Oh, the port is definitely in there. Alright, well, screw that. I'm not going anywhere near there. Actually, it kind of sounds like they're coming out. Are they? Well, maybe not. Just in case, we'll go over here. I don't believe so.
Yeah, they're not coming out. All right, well, we cleared out our infestation, so let's take a look at our storyline. Patchen's Lakes Infestation. It's been a long time now, but I still remember when Sarah and I first started dating. She dragged me all over, collecting her plant samples. I come along because it's beautiful out here, riding through the farewell wilderness. Patchen's Lakes is where she showed me how to collect lavender, and she showed me she knew how to wear a tight pair of jeans. Guess which one I remember the most? Deacon. You dog. Uh, let's see. Anything in inventory? I don't think so. Skills, we do have something new. Question is, what do we want? I haven't gotten anything in survival. Wonder if the, uh... I could get this one. Thorn in your side provides a chance to retrieve some bolts that have been fired from your crossbow. Perhaps I should get that. Anything good in... Tier 2, though. Increases the range of survival vision. I guess that's decent. Thief in the night. Generate less noise when moving or dropping. That could be good. Green thumb. Ability to gather double the plants when collecting them. I don't really know if I care about that. Thief in the night is good. Thorn in your side is good. None of this other stuff is really all that great. And I'd have to spend two skill points here. Yeah, I think we're going to wait on survival stuff. Ranged is probably where it's at. So people have told me that the crossbow is amazing. This significantly increases crossbow bolt damage. So maybe it'll finally be good if I get this. I kind of want all three of these, to be honest. Less so on the sprinting and reloading, because I just don't really sprint that much. But iron grip would be good and knocked up for sure. Let's try Knocked Up. Maybe I'll start using the crossbow more. Hold L2 and tap R2 to fire crossbow. Crossbow bolt damage dealt is dramatically increased. Sweet. Alright, and here we are on the map. So, cleared out all that infestation. Still have that Nero research site in there. We'll have to get that at some point. Not doing that now. And there's our full map. It's beautiful. Alrighty, so we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.